welcome everybody to No Name Extras, where we get a chance to talk about random bullshit because we don't have time to wait for the podcast. Uh, I am Mr. Moopsy, and I am here with my other co-hosts. Introduce yourselves, boys. It's me, Cosmo Jazz. I hear from y'all again. It's been a minute for some of us, anyway. <laughs> well, then it's me, Mr. Moopsy's associate, Venom. That's right. He's made an appearance. Damn, that's it. Shit. That's yeah, what man. I meant by it's been a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because well, because it's it, it for me. It's like a it's like a guest star kind of thing. The star <laughs> that nobody's been on the show. For a lot. <laughs> and I am the person that's just gonna pick pick it up and get us back on topic. My name is Baker. Uh you might revere to me as an icon or just some Negro on the internet, but either way, you I choose the latter. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna be like, it's only I those two you. extremes. <laughs> I love, I love me too, Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, Jazz, tell the nice people what we're gonna be talking about today. In game. Yeah! Yay! Anger! <laughs> that Wait, thing no. that Anthem doesn't have. Exactly! Yeah. <laughs> I Wait, couldn't come I'm up with that. That's all we needed any for. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are we going to do spoilers? Because maybe yeah. not all our viewers have seen the movie. We'll tell we're them when we get off. there. Yeah, we're going to start <laughs> off non-spoilers, and then we're going to go spoilers. <laughs> They had their chance. It's been I weak. mean, <laughs> yeah, I think like two at this point. And I mean, mm-hmm. like, I will say, like, my sister's boyfriend hasn't seen the movie yet. Mm. Okay, well, luckily I have two, so you can and, spoil whatever you want. And just so we're clear, <laughs> I am going to be cutting this. So even if they're stupid enough to really listen to the spoilers thing without seeing it, they'll see it on another video. So that'll just be all their fault. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's Fair bastard. Enough. <laughs> but, uh, all right so uh uh who wants to get started on their opinions on endgame uh are, are the three of you guys fans of the marvel universe yeah i mean i love venom it's in my name but he's not part of the mcu Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> How dare you use logic in this podcast? <laughs> but that's what. But that's. But that's my main point because I am someone who is not enthralled into the Marvel comic universe, especially with the Avengers. And then when I watched it, I was able to keep up with things just well enough to be like, "Yo, this was a great fucking movie." For a second there, I thought you were gonna say like. I'm not a big fan of the MCU because I'm more of a DCU fan. <laughs> why, would I, why would I say that? I don't know. I mean, he only has like a selection of three it. movies. <laughs> if he did say that. I love how you Except only for... said three movies. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Shazam. Shazam was good. No, that's I one of the three. I liked Shazam. To me, it was the Spider-Man homecoming of DC movies. Yeah, they seriously yeah. pulled that, that one out of the fire. In my mm. opinion, because mm. like this, for for me, I know we're off topic, but I just want to set the record topic. straight. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to set the record straight. Uh, the like DC has won me over with Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Shazam. Three heroes I never would have thought I'd say that to. I'm just kind of not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> Power Girl has massive jugs. Which is kind of sad. And this <laughs> like that, I'm a DC fan. <laughs> <laughs> you just see you just see Joss just like transform and like just have nothing but DC clothes on and... you know that one clip of Homer Simpson just like fading away into the bushes he just comes back with a DC cap on exactly but, okay so uh, yeah so Eddie I guess since you got started you wanna go or mm. We're not doing spoilers yet, though. Do you want me to just talk about what you, how you thought, like the movie went, like if it, how good it was, uh, anything is any non-spoilery things you think you can say that you didn't like, all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's there really wasn't. Okay, how how can I put this? Because the way that I think about shit is a little bit different than the rest of you guys. 
I, there wasn't there really wasn't nothing that I disliked. And there's a spoiler part where a lot of people are gonna be like, Oh god. To me, it's gonna be like, Yeah, like yeah, that's what a movie if you wanna be successful in twenty nineteen, that's something you would have to do. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. But we will get to that when we get to that. But it was a it was a great movie. My only regret was not being enthralled into the Marvel universe like that before seeing this movie mm-hmm. because the people that I watched it with are part of it and I'm just sitting there just like wow that was really fucking cool and then there's like Lee and his nephew next to me like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like going super saiyan and shit I'm just like oh shit this is this is important I better, uh, I better yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, just, they just grab your sh- they just grab your shirt and start shaking you violently <laughs> did you see that Shit. <laughs> I was gonna say that like well they just uh, grab me leave. by my shirt and leave me up in the air so like, like, yeah. like your popcorn's say, all over while, you uh, while Lee's like going super saiyan and shit someone in the background yells turn off the light <laughs> I can't see anything <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, a, oh, yeah, that's, a, that's another thing too when when we watched it uh, there was counting counting me me and my group there was only three groups of people in the movie theater. Mm. Lucky. <laughs> oh, yeah, because, like, freaking, what was it? Uh, when I went to see Endgame, freaking, my theater was, like, uh, double booking seats. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Mm-mm, not us. We had so much space in there. Like, now, like, I have a question for you. What time did uh-huh. you go? Uh, 11.30 at night. Okay, so I can tell you why that happened. Up, that was most likely one the that measles. was opened that wasn't really on a list somewhere. I don't fucking care. I watched it. And I but had the a good reason time. for that is because not a lot of people probably knew that was open. Because if they did, mm. there probably would have been more uh, people there. It happens all the time in theaters. I hate working at, I used to work at a theater and I know this. It's the stupidest <laughs> thing. <laughs> well, I know, they, I know they said they were going to have movie theaters open twice. 24 hours just to show Endgame. But it was like very certain movie theaters. Uh, no, nah, this. It. Yeah. And this place here has been open for like a while now. Like, it's a part of a failing mall. Mm-hmm. And there wasn't, there really wasn't that much people. There weren't that many people there at all whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Now, it does not really matter so much. Mm-hmm. I've never seen a place that's floor, that's floor was completely made up of all popcorn. Like that was fucking crazy. <laughs> That's kind of. Weird. I just, I just feel bad. I just feel bad for the people that have to clean that up. <laughs> like, I'd, I'd, I'd feel bad for them if they cleaned it up. <laughs> what kind of thing is that? <laughs> a, a pre-spoiler spoiler. They didn't clean up the popcorn. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> In the movie. <laughs> That's all it's, kinds it's of messed up. It's like uh, it's like all they, it's like all they do is spray it with Windex a little and wipe it with a paper towel just for like a couple seconds and then all done. Make it sure the popcorn it sparkles. Been, it would have been it would have been even more productive. Just like just sprinkle some crack on it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a better time, a better use. But mm-hmm. hey, whatever. I, what do I know? <laughs> Okay, uh, do uh, you want to give a rating? Oh, oh shit, ratings. That's right, we do that around here. <laughs> uh, yes. I'd, I'd definitely give it a 9 out of 10, man. They they really kicked ass with that movie. Quick, just bully him. Well, I can't because one like you, <laughs> he hasn't seen <laughs> the, the, all the movies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mm-hmm. it, it, what was that? What what's going on here? So, uh, it, 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 in joke, in joke. It, it is an in joke, but I okay. kind of want to tell it because people need to know that. <laughs> um, there's probably there was probably some inconsistencies there, but I don't know the inconsistencies. So who am I <laughs> to talk about it like mm-hmm. that? Like, like critique a movie that I'm watching at the end without seeing the other two movies first. Ah, well, whatever, man. Like some dude who's just being thrown right into Endgame. And mm-hmm. It's just like, man, this shit was dope. Mm-hmm. 
And honestly, I'm sure you weren't the only one because so many people jumped on the MCU train even more because of Black Panther. And then oh, it just kind of went oh, from there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm not saying you did. <laughs> I'm just uh, saying in hey, general. Dude, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I was, was going to say that, you like... Uh, in with those fuckers, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say that, like, there were some people that was just kind of like, oh, I never saw, like, a single comic book movie. But when Black Panther came out, it was just yeah, kind of like... Yeah, it was a my lot. Mom is it, my mom is exactly that. Hmm. 150 percent that's another thing i gotta bring up when we get to the year yeah 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 let's keep going <laughs> yeah all right. uh all right uh, and i was gonna say though like uh jess you you we can bring up the in joke it's just that like i think it makes more sense if like if we tell it when i'm talking yeah which is your turn now uh, oh, like, oh, yeah. Push me in the spotlight, will you? No better time than now. <laughs> Since you right. brought it up. No. <laughs> it's like, you brought it up. Since you brought it up. That guy. Right. But, all right. So, uh, first time uh, I was. Re- uh, uh, first time I was reviewing it, I was like i was just freaking fangasming the whole time i was fucking just like do, doing nothing but singing the, the movie's praises it's absolutely funny it's absolutely fucking like uh the tone's really fucking great there are some parts when we get to spoilers that i did kind of like point out that it's like uh it can it does have a little bit of a problem but like not enough to ruin the movie for me and uh, when I saw it, and like by the end, even like after I've, I've seen it, it's been out for like about two weeks, uh, if I recall correctly. And it's really um, only been a week though. It's, it would be two weeks if you count like the special screenings and stuff, but it's only been a week for the public. Ah, okay, then so yeah, it's been about a week. Uh, I guess I'm kind of kind of kind of ahead of time for it because I want fucking Detective Pikachu to come out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but. Okay, so it's about, it's been about a week, but it, like one of the things that I think it, it is a sign of a good movie, especially this movie, is that like this is a three hour long movie. I think like the whole runtime, not counting the credit, it's literally three hours and one minute. Mm-hmm. And this is a movie I still want to go back and see again. And not a lot of people can say can say that they've got like the patience for like uh like a uh, a good three hour three hour movie, let alone uh. But so it's like I think that that's something that really shows the the quality of like the production, the the production, the storytelling, the actors, everyone's fucking firing on on, on all cylinders, and I do think that this is this is worth the the price. I'm almost tempted to freaking get that uh, Infinity Saga box set. Nice. How much is that thing? I wouldn't be surprised if it was like two hundred bucks. I wouldn't Jeez. be either. <clears throat> Well, I mean, that's a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, because it's literally like from Iron Man to now. That's a lot of movies. Yeah, mm-hmm. twenty-two. Mm-hmm. Oh man, twenty-two movies for two hundred dollars. Mm. Honestly, if they, even if all of them are like ten bucks each, that's like you're saving twenty bucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like that. That's a good deal. Yeah. But yeah, like I absolutely love the movie. And okay, so time for the in joke, Jess. Do you want to tell it or should I? Oh no, by all means. Okay, so the thing is that because <laughs> Jess wants to be a total dick about this, <laughs> um, this does <is> asshole. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the first time uh, I I reviewed the movie, it's because right now I'm gonna say it. I'm giving this movie a ten out of ten. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when I first gave the movie a review, I gave it a nine point six, and <gasps> then Jess lo- flipped his shit. <laughs> Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Bird the witch. <laughs> He's a witch. But the thou doth die. He's a witch. <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, and so we, we we started going over the details. Anything? If I had like any real problems with it, and like, generally speaking, not really. Like, n- nothing that was, like, super game-breaking or anything like that. And there were even some of the stuff that, like, happens in the movie. If I did have a problem with it, I forget about it, like, 
10 seconds later. Uh, mm. And so it, is, it was just one of those things where it's just like, um, after talking about it, I was just like, you know what? Yeah, this movie is a fucking 10 out of 10. And for those who don't know, I do have this one thing, because I know Jazz was waiting for me to uh, Here mention it comes. this. Because <laughs> <laughs> when I go, I go to movies that like I'm really hyped for, Generally, I have something that I call uh, a 10 out of 10 requirement, which could, which means that like, I if I'm gonna see a movie, that if, if I'm gonna go see a movie, and they do this one thing that I absolutely want to see, it gets an instant 10 out of 10, no matter how shitty. Mm-hmm. The thing uh -oh. is, well, go ahead. I was going to say, uh-oh, look out, Roger and Ebert. We got a new critic on the loose, <laughs> and it's Moopsie. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, should we play this on top of their graves or something? Or? Let's not. <laughs> 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 but, uh... Uh, so, uh, and, and so, um, and so, and normally I have that. Like, for example, for Infinity War... Uh, because it was Thanos using the Infinity Gauntlet, I said I would give this movie a 10 out of 10 if he fucking did, like, the, the power super from Marvel superheroes. He doesn't. He gets pretty close, but he doesn't do it. No. <laughs> uh, but for uh, Endgame, like, going in, I didn't have a 10 out of 10 requirement. Mm -hmm. I was going in, I was just kind of like, I just want to see the movie... But I and I even driving on the way to the theater, I was just kind of like, "Is there anything I can I can think of that I want to see that's a ten out of 10? And I I just had nothing, so I watched the movie. Hmm. Uh, damn it, Venom! I can hear you again. What? I can hear the video. Anything. Oh. Let me try moving the mic a little bit farther. Maybe you made it louder. No, yeah, that's it. You really made it louder. <laughs> <laughs> Can you still hear it? Uh, yes. yeah, it's literally louder. <laughs> <laughs> I moved the thing back. I don't know why. Here, hold on. If you I'll ask be me, right back. I was gonna say, if you ask me, it's not really bothering me all that much. It just tripped me out, just like, hey, we can hear the thing. Oh, okay, let me move it. It gets louder. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, oh, so like... It's gonna be one of those tonight. <laughs> Isn't it always? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. But uh, just to like sort of wrap things up, I went in like uh, I I didn't have a I didn't have the ten out of ten, uh, and then it was just kind of like when I was watching Endgame, I basically made up like a ten out of ten on the spot, and I and it met the the ten out of ten, but like I didn't really I didn't really quantify it because um, I because I thought like you know the movie's like fucking excellent anyway, but so. The movie's excellent, and, and I just made it up like 10 seconds right before it happened. I didn't think it was like that super fucking serious, but Jess was like, no, you have to well, make see, sure you use it. here's the thing. It's like, I, you know that I don't really like that kind of thing anyway, because it puts an expectation on a movie that really shouldn't be there in the first place, in my opinion. But the fact that he did it anyway, and it still happened, and he still gave it a 9.6, what is the point of a 10 out of 10 requirement? If it meets it, and you still won't give it to it. <laughs> Now yeah. I see why you bullied him, Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Jazz on this one, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, as, much, <laughs> as much as much as it, I don't want to agree with Jazz all the time. That Literally, doesn't make it doesn't make it fun. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, oh man, I want if I want this to happen, I'll give it a ten out of ten, and then it gives you that, and then it's just like. No, well, you still not gonna get a fucking ten. <laughs> How dare you give me what I want? <laughs> the only like, like, I was your the... big. How dare you? <laughs> I was like your... I... I was your biggest fan, Moopsie, and then I just throw away all mo all Moopsie memorabilia that I had in the trash. It's like the fourth time you threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> I sold some of it on eBay. Uh, there will be more. Need a gas money. <laughs> <laughs> so you ended up owing the guy like five bucks. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, like that was the big reason why. I, like, e even, uh, even then, like, whatever, like, fucking 
tiny ass math had to be involved, I still end up giving the movie 10 out of 10. Because, yeah, there's a part of me that still kind of thinks that, like, I don't know how impactful that 10 out of 10 I said should be, considering I just made it up, like, like five seconds before the fucking thing happened. Um, but regardless, I still think it, it's a 10 out of 10 movie, because if nothing else, like I said, like, uh, this is a movie that is just, like, fucking... That, sh that shit made me, like, super misty-eyed. I almost tear- I almost cried. Uh, mm -hmm. And you could hear, like, the whole fucking theater sniffling and all that shit. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I heard, like, a bunch of, like... <laughs> like, mm -hmm. a bunch of that stuff in the in my theater. Are you, sh are you sure that you weren't just having a cold? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, spontaneous cold, for sure. I mean, if that's the case. literally a spontaneous cold in an entire theater. Sure, okay. Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, Pathogens but, I mean, from the body odor. All, all that measles. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, like... I, like, doesn't matter, like, how it got to 10 out of 10. In my eyes, I'm just kind of like, I'm still giving the 10 out of 10 regardless. Mm. <laughs> That's Moopsie's crit criticism, folks. Guaranteed. Got that Moopsie steel and everything. Moopsie seal of approval, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just Moopsie's picture with the thumbs up. <laughs> it does. It's like, I guess everyone craves it so bad. <laughs> <laughs> mommy, mommy, I want that Moopsie doll. <laughs> Keep that child away from me. Don't you? Comes with a demon voice. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the that's one of the the quotes that the Moopsie doll says. Let's get that child away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who's next? I can go next. I get. Oh, okay. Hey, Barack scissors each other for it. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jaws can go ahead if he wants to. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to figure I out how it. that works. <laughs> <laughs> that was your first mistake. <laughs> That's how Venom I've went. already lost. <laughs> 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 no. Um... Besides, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta organize my my documents for this. Okay. What? <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> He's got like ten pages of full of notes. Exactly. <laughs> I gotta organize my notes. There you go. <laughs> All right. So I'm automatically gonna probably do a hot take on this one because I'm actually gonna go off something that Moopsie said, which is all about a whole wanting to see this again. Like, uh, like right after, wow. which is exactly what I felt about it, and I actually kind of did. I've seen it twice now. Um, one thing I will give credit to this movie is I don't feel like there was any point where there was a lull in the movie. Oh, just one point. <laughs> well, well, just one, just one. You only get one for me. <laughs> I'm generous today. <laughs> but. When it's like a three hour movie and a movie that's similar in that aspect is a Lord of the Rings movie. And while I do love those movies, I can point lulls in those movies. Oh but, yeah. But this this movie literally I, well, I, I like even second time through, no lulls. I was not bored once. So I will give the credit to that absolutely. Um, also, each character had, well, each of the main ones, uh, had a moment that I feel really solidified their character through their journey from Iron Man up to this point. Question. What's up? It's possibly unrelated, depends on the answer. Um, because, uh, because, uh, how long is Avatar, uh, Cameron's? That is an excellent is, question. Isn't that, like, almost three hours? I feel like it is. Because I know it's, it's I know it's like uh, almost three hours. I don't know if it actually passes that. Because the reason I, I want to bring it up is because, like, the, the way that Jazz brought uh, like uh, invoked Lord of the Rings, mm -hmm. I would want to invoke Avatar because like that's a movie where it's like uh, it wasn't it wasn't like a super it wasn't a bad movie. It's something that like the plot I've seen it before for sure. Um, <laughs> fucking Pocahontas. Um, <laughs> Like, like, like that's the one that I, I fucking went to in my mind. Even when I saw a trailer, I was just kind of like, I've seen this. Uh, 
But the other thing I wanted to say too is that this is like that's a movie I've seen once, and that is just kind of like I could live the rest of my life without seeing it again. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas <laughs> like uh, whereas Endgame, I'm just kind of like I just hook it up to my veins. <laughs> Keep popping that shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just suck it to my veins! Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Everything seems to be overflowing. I didn't say stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, also, going off to like the like, uh, moments in the movie, there is a. I won't say what it is till the spoilers section, but the memes are already coming out of this movie, and I feel they're way better than uh, Infinity War already as well. And there's one that, Eddie, I know you know which one I'm probably talking about, too. It has to do with the, uh, <laughs> a, certain, <laughs> a certain person. That, a particular do... thing that happened in a particular <laughs> this particular Yeah. <laughs> a particular film. <laughs> a certain part that people would know. Am I right, folks? And like, everyone's like, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, because like the the it definitely makes sense though, because mm-hmm. uh, like the end like the ending in this one it's uplifting as all hell. Where there's like the one for Infinity War that that, was, that shit was depressing. So, and I won't say because that also is a spoiler thing. There's actually something I want to say about the quote uplifting ending that I want. I'm curious what you guys think about it, but I won't say that now. It's spoiler stuff. Right. This is spoiler um, stuff. But. Overall, I will say that it is interesting how there was really only, I want to say, one quote MacGuffin in there that happened around, like, nearing the ending of the beginning. That after, that kind of bugged me for a bit, but after, it literally only bugged me for, like, two seconds. And then after that, it was just like, I don't even remember what this part was. <laughs> Yeah, like the way that the movie goes, it's so good at like, uh, like distracting you from other like stuff that you might yet you might be curious about. You'd be like, because you think to yourself like, wait, what about this? And it's just kind of like, oh, look at that. Wait, what was I thinking about just now? Mm-hmm. It it's almost like having my memory. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> he just goes with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So totally. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will say and. This might be slight spoiler. I, I, I don't consider it a spoiler, but uh, we'll see. But there is something that if you've seen the movie before this, Captain Marvel, you might be expecting something of her uh, in a way that kind of doesn't pan out in this movie, probably the way you expect. Yet at the same time, I feel like it panned out in the way that it needed to. Because... In my opinion, this really isn't her story as much as the main five story. Ah, the stripper scene. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. Nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, 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 don't I haven't seen the movie. I'm pretty sure that there's no, there's no stripper scene. <laughs> you don't remember, man? There was flashing lights and everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why, because I had a fucking seizure and forgot about it. <laughs> you that or the cold. <laughs> <laughs> you know how, how those sudden colds like to pop up? <laughs> it's like, it's like you, you haven't seen Captain Marvel, and then you just like want to screw with your friends or whatever you're just like remember that one scene you know the colonic <laughs> and like what and then you have to like look online to see if there's a scene like that and you're like, oh thank god <laughs> yeah, man. um let's see what else there was one other thing i wanted to bring up um literally it's it's gonna be interesting to see what eddie says in the spoilers thing because as a person who's seen all the movies and literally remembers a good chunk of them, there were so many callbacks that it really made you feel like amazing when you like you like you're, <coughs> excuse me you like Captain America <laughs> where you're like I got that reference. <laughs> he, he's for, holding back his crying. A, I know for mm. a second there I thought like that noise is a fan grilling just like. <coughs> The fuck? Why are you Michael Jackson? (laughs) I don't know. That's the noise you made. (laughs) I don't know about that one. But anyway. (laughs) um, But yeah, there's literally so many references in this movie. 
that while well, Eddie probably didn't get pretty, pretty much any of them, it was mainly good enough for those who have been there for a long time. So it wasn't like you needed to get those. Uh, per yeah, se. like like this movie is one of the definitions for fan service. And I actually want to address that word too, because a lot of times lately, anyway, when the word fan service is used, it's used in the negative content. Where like, oh, this girl's wearing such skirt, low, whatever, things like that. What uh, people consider that bad? It's gotten uh, kind service? of bad. Really. How dare they? Like, literally, um, and literally, we can think about this in the Mortal Kombat context too, where the girls aren't exactly wearing uh, bikinis and whatnot, and it's like, <laughs> where's my fan service there? What? It's it's mainly been considered towards that lately. So Eddie, Eddie, it's because we've regressed back to 1642. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> we're, we're showing oh. we're, sh- we're showing somebody's ankle or yeah, ankles is considered sexual. <laughs> I like, dude. Let me tell you, bro. I was at work. I saw this girl wear like a jacket, and just she like rolled the sleeves up, and I saw a wrist. I had to go to the bathroom, bro. Damn, man, <laughs> we're already getting demonetized. Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. So, coming in I'm here sorry. talking about wrists. Damn, I'm sorry. I gotta cut all this out, <laughs> dude. Couldn't, I saw a girl's. Happen, I it's saw like, a girl's. Or it's like it's like I saw a girl, so then you just like whisper in the mic, elbow, <laughs> and they're like flag, thing. flag. I'm gonna change it to like, like, hair. Uh, <laughs> like like Jazz does some so, like has such heavy duty cuts that he cuts to us like in the middle of a spoiler talk. <laughs> you know, there's so many references, and then this app, I'm like whoa. <laughs> so anyway, Thanos. <laughs> Uh, anytime they'll say like elbow or something, I just cut it to like a robot voice saying lovely hair or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful personality. <laughs> Dude, did I you see her much. amazing personality? <laughs> like, you know the best thing about cankles, man. You don't know where it starts or where it ends. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, she had a big fucking pair of personality. <laughs> uh, Wonderful personality. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, it's like it lets you it lets you say the word fuck, but it won't let you say the body part. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely not. This is sixteen forty two. You have to be you have to the be like B E T you have to be like B E T uh censoring curse words in their black <laughs> mouth. <laughs> I'm tired, this is Monday to Friday play. <laughs> <laughs> So like yo, let me see. Like yo, when this woman bent over, yo, I can see the full extent of her, uh, majest- uh, um, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody drop this. The full extent of her feet. Oh, it's like uh, drop it. If you drop ever, it like a combo, bro. <laughs> if you ever, uh, if you ever see Big Lombowski censored, it's like. Uh, where John Goodman's character is supposed to say, you ever fuck a stranger in the ass? Instead, they switch it to, you ever find a stranger in the Alps? Oh, wow, that's fuck. completely different. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Um, overall, though, I will probably give this movie a 10 out of 10. Um, definitely would see it again. So, like, another three a more third times. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, and I'll leave it at that for now. Yeah, for me, it's just like, fuck, it's a, I, 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 I want to see it again. My brother's coming over next weekend, so we're, he's going to pay to watch to or my tickets for Detective Pikachu. Mm. And I'm still just kind of like, I want to spend my own money to fucking watch an endgame again. Mm. I still, I still wish Danny DeVito voiced Pikachu. Different, uh, we'll, we'll talk that about, we'll talk about that some other day. <laughs> different movie, different timeline. <laughs> Hold that thought for the next actress. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're All right, better. so, okay, so, to me, because I, I, I haven't seen all the Marvel movies. Like, I haven't seen Black Panther or Captain Marvel. I think those are the only two I actually haven't seen. Mm -hmm. (laughs) 
Well, it's not that they they suck. It's just I don't, I don't know. I just didn't. No, yeah, I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see the just... conclusion. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and I I agree with Joss that there are certain references that like made me kind of gush like a little schoolgirl. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> don't do that again, please. Don't. And My I'll also admit, and. I, <laughs> And I'll also admit, and I'll probably talk about this in spoil in the spoiler section, that there there is a certain person that you probably wouldn't recognize in a certain scene, and I'll clarify that in the spoilers. Now, as good as Endgame was, I will admit there is one plot hole that still bugs me, and again, I'll wait till the spoiler. I wonder if y'all have the same plot hole. Because, like, uh, who knows? Because, like, I, I know that there's one that I told you about, Jess, the last time we did this. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and it's, like, it's like it, it's still a, a thing for me. But, like, uh, I'll, I'll go over the same points, like, when we get to spoilers. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. And then the one thing, though, that, that I hated that, <clears throat> that they were doing for Endgame was they were showing more of the movie in the commercials. And it's like, I don't want to see more of the movie. Like, I'm fine with just the vague scenes they show as is. Like, I don't want to see the, like, parts of the fights in the commercials. It's like, I want to be surprised for them. But but at the same time, I was still happy watching, watching the whole movie as it was. And then I also... I was going to say something, but again, I think it falls under the spoiler category, so I'm going to wait until uh, we get into spoilers. And uh, and I am happy that, you know, Cap and Tony are in scenes together, and Hawkeye too, because I know they were kind of pissed at each other in Civil War. Mm -hmm. yep. And, uh... And yeah, and... I guess I give the movie, like with with the plot hole in mind, I give it like a nine point nine out of ten. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready for some bullying. But then, like, but that then, like, don't Josh make no said, sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take it at O point off. What? The <laughs> He's like, let me give you ten reasons why you're wrong. What are you, IGN? <laughs> it's like, it's like, get out of, it's like, get out of this podcast, and you will never join another podcast as you live, <laughs> ever. <laughs> you're screaming that in your mic. <laughs> but I mean, so yeah, as you can tell, we all really, 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 really love this movie. Mm -hmm. Even the super casual fans. Super casual, fragilistic, expialidocious. Get out of here, Disney. <laughs> oh. You well, will not they... pollute this podcast with your politics. <laughs> well, well, technic <laughs> well, technically, they already have because, you know, Disney owns Marvel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but Disney does not own this podcast all right yeah oh, I, I thought you, i thought you were gonna say disney does i'm starting not own to think my venom spirit. here i'm starting to think venom here is like a spy for disney we should excommunicate him <laughs> i've been but saying that since the beginning <laughs> baker knows too much <laughs> <laughs>